guys, but they're still being recorded, right, Devin? Oh, yes, they are. Oh, they're being recorded, yep. baby, so it'll be uploaded very, very yep. soon. Go check out the best of that set we love while Alice. we check out this one. Vaughn and BD Bean aren't going to need any sort of button check. They're just going to get right into it as the the bike technician, carpool extraordinaire, and New York's fam famous... I don't know whether I want to say she's a character specialist or a she character anti-specialist, because she plays everybody. Both. You can put the, the, the bag for her, and that, that's, that's her character at this point. Today, PD Bean did not drive today. He got carpooled. Let's go. Wait, someone else carpooled yep, PD Bean? Yup, because ain't no one driving this damn city. Nah, absolutely not. But Fawn already wild. being untouched, by the way. This entire about 45 seconds that me and Richard have been talking, BD Bean has not found any response until right then and there going with the Nair, but it's still not gonna be quite enough. Finally going the up throw, the up tilt, maybe double up tilt? No. Instead, gonna be laying Fawn, come back to the platform, and set up the, the can once more. And BD Bean kind of has a taste of his own medicine with the can and then the bike kind of playing the same role of. Do you want to enter a space? Do you want to uh, uh, approach me with this can or bicycle? Or do you want to hold that? And right now, I mean, it's going to be Fawn trying not to hold that, right? Just using the clay pigeon, disrupt that bike, get rid of it, start that 7 second timer. Using the taper back air, that he throws an at BD. If he runs in past it, it also pings the can back towards him, right? Sets up that can twist to catch you between a rock and a hard place. BD gets stuck running away from the next one, setting it up instead, and losing the stock for his troubles here, Mark. Let's see, is Fawn still at a really good amount of percentage here? Still not, you know, too shabby to deal with. You can definitely get some extra credit, and I think that's just as what she's looking for. We're not going to be in charge with the bike, because that's kind of the trap that uh, that water players do want to do. We put the, the bike there, do you want to pick it up, or are you going to let me throw it at you and eat your shield? Fawn forcing the drop down of the shield, allowing BDB to get a little bit started here, but not enough. Now he's, now he's not enough to make too much of a difference. We have to close the stock right here, right now. The up air poking through the, and, the through the stage, funnily and, enough. And Fawn playing melee, showing you that how much she's put into that game, using a little bit of a wave land off ledge to show you a ledge dash. Not something you see very often in this game, but gonna make it work just for the moment. BD not ready, and it's gonna lead to the reversal. But this scramble, nobody can maintain an advantage state right now. Fawn gonna maintain in her stock just barely, though, with some beautiful discipline off ledge. That can, they're not gonna close it out, and they are both desperately trying to find that last hit on each other. But even losing the stock, Fawn still has a hundred percent here in, a, in her advantage. She's firmly in this lead as long as she can find this stock, because otherwise, Waff is gonna make you hurt. Yeah, for sure. Waff is gonna be the biggest factor here. And we did see BDB get the, the, the sickest Waff in Blast Zone earlier, so we can definitely see it again. BDB being on 25. That doesn't really mean that, you know, he's quite out of the game. BDB is so good at kind of maintaining the airspace, maintaining the pace of the game as well. Both players going to shield, waiting for their respective projectiles to time out for a second there. But it's going to be BDB and then the up there from Duck Hunt beating out the Nair from B BDB. And once he's 10% living for that long, kind of crazy. And not utilizing that gunman to define, extend the hit lag to allow Fa her to find the punish was so brilliant from Fawn. Right? She's able to find these reversals just by making you swing and well, otherwise it would be a safe scenario, but who cares whether it's safe or not when you can just find that one landing up air, find the WAP, you're down in percent, not anymore, and now Fawn trying to find what, and she's been, a game she's been in the lead the whole time, she has to barely find a way, utilizing that combo into the gunman to close out the stock and back on the damage. You have Clay Pigeon here, and I think we're going to see her look for a big Clay Pigeon combo if she has the opening. I for sure think the same thing. Both players here have... I, I, I applaud BD Bean for taking this back to an even stock count, and honestly, really even percentages as well. This only allows them to play at their best, even though Font is definitely playing the little bit of a long-range game plan, and just beating out a lot of BD Bean's options, close-range options, with the can and clay pigeon. Again, both options are frame one, and the conversions going on here are so beautiful to watch. We're going in for beating... We're going to be trying beating out uh, the interventions off, off stage. We're going in for the back throw from BD Bean, and this is, could be where Font has to be really careful here. Great air drift from Fawn, able to get the stage, uh, center stage. Now, Fawn on has been put in so many situations where she's been had some really creative strength, but then is just one or two pixels off from finding that optimal continuation she wants to. However, she's going to give BD a taste of his own medicine. The bike technician getting caught up by the bike, put to the corner, and having to air dodge pass just to have a chance to make it back. No resources 
left for him. No waft, no bike online. Just time to wait it out. And you can see he desperately wants that bike to come back. Because otherwise, the next time he comes off stage, Bob might just be it. BD Bean did the bike looking animation while he was falling. You already know what that means. He got a text on lock. And was that? He oh. just went for a half walk. He there, did go for a half walk. Bike. He did go for a half walk. Hit stun extension just wasn't able to find it. And now. Very much nothing left in the tank, and Fawn going to use the hit stun extension back against him to close out the game with that up air. She's frustrated. Bruh, you can feel Fawn, like she nah. wants to clean stuff up a little bit in that after that game, and she feels like even though she was in the lead most of the time and still brought it back after that early walk, she should have won that one more convincingly. Fawn, the only person I know who gets upset when she wins. Oh, we, we are zooming in today. We are mad. What a f literally the violins go so crazy. Oh, I love it. All right, Fawn trying to shake herself out a little bit. BD Bean definitely has it in the bag. You saw the comeback, the comeback factor start to emerge there, start to uh, kind of put a a, a flaw in Fawn's game plan for a second, but. Fawn does beat it out, taking the first game. We're going into our second game on PS2, which is where BD Bean definitely likes to uh, to have his play his play field be in. Yeah, and the, the higher platform right here on PS2 compared to somewhere like Small Battlefield, where we were just moments ago, is huge for Wario. Oh, it gives him better percent ranges to set up some walk, a tech chase walks on platform. It gives him an easier time to trap you with falling up there and getting confirm off that, find some up air up tilt resets that he wouldn't otherwise be able to, and the space, right, to really maximize this air drift. As you mentioned, Bob, this is really where he likes to be. Yeah, for sure. At least you can, if, if Fawn wants to also enforce that long range game plan, I feel like it, it doesn't do as well on PS2 only okay. because it's so long. Yeah. It just it outranges <laughs> yeah. the range of your projectile. Yep. BD can just stand and literally just run away from you to get away from everything but can. And if and if honestly, if he's putting himself in the corner because of a can that has no pings, he runs away, you hit ping it seven times, it explodes, you run right back. This is an excellent start for BD being going into the second game at least. Fawn able to narrowly get back on the stage. Going for the can, the gunman as well to cover uh, whatever options she wants to go for. Goes to the Nair instead, trying to go a little bit back to the ledge. Which I really like that she's going for a ledge and then having the gunman in front of her as a way to be like, you cannot approach me and I can't approach you. So it's it's fair game right now. I love that up there there to stall from Fawn. But BDB thought she, was, uh, she had to go up because she didn't have a jump. And she said, nah, I can hold this space just a little longer. Just miss your timing a tiny bit. And finding multiple pings at, in the hit lag. So that can didn't move away, was able to detonate the bite on reaction, and now find coverage. Her creativity in this game alone has been incredible. All right, Baby was trying to rev it up and get something started, but the shock of the gunman gonna be pulling a hole in his tire there as we go into the second stock for BD Bean. At least, at the very least, you have so much to do, play with, and there's the bite chomping right down on Fawn's head. At least taking his game back to even. BD Bean has been so, so, so good, not letting any of um, any of his opponents stay in the lead for more than maybe like 10 seconds. And then he just kind of brings it right back. Again, the can and then the poke uh, coming in from Fawn. So, so good. And just something out BDB's options. We're going in for the bike a lot more here. And then the bike's off on stage as a little bit of a threat. Going in for the up air. Stuffed out by the frame one can. Two of them. Can we get a third one? No, he's going to be sitting on the platform for a little bit while, for a little while. Keeping that on platform, right? And then mixing in that can toss. Now for Erd Air back here. Keeping you guessing as to which way that can's going to keep on pinging. And right, Fawn is utilizing every little movement trick, every little piece of ambiguity she can to keep BD Bean guessing, recognizing, hey, if I'm even a little bit telegraphed, as the Hun can be sometimes, BD will catch on. He will make me pay. So I have to keep him guessing. I have to keep him uncomfortable. I cannot let him reset. And her ability to maintain this momentum has been absurd. And it's integral when you have to deal with Walt. This WAF has been online for a good minute now. BB has to be really careful here. Because you want to get rid of Fawn now and then utilize that WAF in like a possible maybe zero to death or close to one. And that's in that in that last stock for Fawn. Fawn gonna make it back with the air dodge right for the up B going in for the can once more. BDB is still staying alive for a whole lot longer. But the second can of beans is gonna be taking him right out. 
having to reach this one on the Angel platform for a second. We still have a walk available to us at the very least. So, Vaughn still cannot be too comfortable. Just be play, uh, again, very smart, very cautiously, because that walk will be the game ender if you let it go on for too long. And as I say that, we might have a walk coming up on deck. Yeah, she thought she had given just enough traps to give herself a window to get back, but mis misjudged it slightly much. And as you were saying, this walk is going to be the difference maker for BDB. What, if he even gets the opportunity, Fawn is looking to carry him to the blast zone, carry him to the corner here with these cave play benches, but instead has to back off, reset to neutral, and do it the old-fashioned way. Excellent question for Fawn. You know, everything that BD's been trying to be doing, Fawn has been just simply running away, not letting the space even happen. Even right there, getting the, the double nair from BD being still not going to be enough. Fawn's still doing a really excellent job of, again, backing up when she has to. And those cans are a good get out jail free uh, zone for her to utilize. And At least BB hasn't died yet. And she's playing around these gunmen as well, because if you play around gunmen and they find that first hit of neutral air, it doesn't shoot combo into the second one. So she can get out of dodge when otherwise she would get hit by that second hit of narrow, which is where Wario's combo starter is, right? That's uh -oh. where you're afraid of the zero to that. So she's playing around these gunmen to avoid that as her potential combo starter, limiting BD Bean's options. And, and you can see he's really struggling to get this one hit he needs to threaten with the waft in the first place. Wait, that's huge. That's a really good start for BD Bean. No oh, way, no. that's it. Wow. Just two hits. 16? That was two Across hits. Stage? That was two hits. Two? Not quite. It was, 20, it was 36 because it started with BD Bean throwing the bike and then Fawn jumped right up and then right. BD Bean was like, oh, I just won. Right here. That's exactly what I was talking about. The, yep. the, 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 the bike toss was the start of that match. And it was up to 36%, and then Fawn jumped and out of position, and that's exactly what BB needed. One up air, and then boom, I'm gonna wow. And, and I wanna point out here too, if we jump back to the beginning of it, right? This bike is a piece of counterplay to what fawn has been doing the whole time. Because that gunman, even being here like this, is has been, okay, you throw that can at me, or the bike at me, it hits my gunman, I jump out. You nair at me, it hits my gunman, I jump out. Fawn's yep. been doing that all set long. And so BD being said, okay, I'm gonna throw my bike up, call out the jump, and you're just gonna die. Beautiful stuff. And Ma, now what do you think as we move here into Smashville, a stage with very little space for game number three? I think this might be a little more difficult for BB to deal with, but definitely not outside the wrong possibility as we see a beautiful new confidence emerging in him. We get the, the, the triple up there right off the top off the top platform, which I think will benefit, although benefits spawn a whole lot, it also benefits BD Bean for those up airs. Uh, absolutely does. That center platform, right? So good for controlling space, but also so good for the jungle game. And Fawn, though, oh, you would think she'd want more space, but with less space, it gives you less room to move, less room for you to avoid all the tricks, traps, and setups that Duck Hunt Duo brings to the table. And Ma and Eva, the pressure is now mounting for both these players, trying to find a stock, recognizing this is their last stock of Winter Side, their last game of Winter Side for one of them. And But the frame one option, Fawn is going to try and hold on just a little bit longer. Okay, can gonna be interesting to chomp there. Me living, letting Fawn actually live a little bit longer than expected. And the second one, Fawn is not allowing this to be the game changer. Gonna be poking with, with slightly down, like jumping down, going for the poke uh, through the stage with the up air. And again, BD being unable to actually follow through on that chomp, so we have to go for a little bit of a different option, going off stage and threatening that presence. And uh, there we go again, trying to go for the can once more, but this time at least jumped a little bit over it and was able to get the, st the start here. But as I say that, the can, again, is able to make this back to an even game. Both players, very, very exceptional, admit, not letting anyone be in advantage state for a little bit any longer than they have and to. And one of the things Spawn has been especially efficient tonight compared to other nights has been fighting that, those combos into that ar orange gunman, right? One of the two that kills and just done a really good job at utilizing it to do so more efficiently, hey, as well as now this stage, right, utilizing that center plat efficiently as well to find these juggles, find extra damage in every scenario. But even still, Moth just came online. She's got to be really careful. This is essentially a one-stop game at this point. Yeah, for sure. And we saw the power of what BDB can do with that walk when he just gets in. Uh, just once. That's all he needs. Just one time. So Vaughn cannot let that happen. Has to play very perfectly here. And I think BDB again is playing with a newfound confidence. Gaining that second game in his favor and going onto a stage that isn't like the worst for Wario. 
is working out so well in his favor to get this back to an even game. The only thing really doing too much damage right now are those cans. Getting, gonna get take B B2 Bean off the uh, off the bike with the Clay Pigeon, and now BD Bean coming back to one stock, but with Wop still active. And what a frame trap there, Mount Never, right? He fight. Vaughn sets you up to either take the can or take the up air. And BD Bean picks wrong, takes the up air, loses the stock, and now potentially one more winner side has to try something. Tries the hit stun extension on the bike, it doesn't work out. Disaster might be coming for New Jersey's finest hero. Oh, the pressure, or he needs to find something fast, but he needs to get this stock here. Error, because Vaughn is going to push you to the limit, able to do so, he has a sliver of flight. BDB and Chai doing the bike waft thing twice now. We still have time for one more waft, thankfully enough. If we can get this to that time, but the way Vaughn's playing and the percentage that BDB is at, there's gonna be a lot of stalling, a lot of outplaying the cans in order for that even half off to come online. You think you need another about? Oh, okay, it's right there. Uh, Wait, remember this too, is huge. there's less space to work with as well, right? It's harder to camp out your opponent, play defensively in the way you need to to get that walk with such limited time left. And once you do, it'll be easier to find it, but you have to do so first. Earth, and now BD Bean is ticking down on his interactions. Spawn gonna miss the can twist angle to keep Boy. the damage going. So BD Bean is gonna have another chance here to make something happen. Spawn knows she needs to close this one fast, Spawn. And the can does. Yes, sir. Those <laughs> cowboys eating good tonight. I, you know, their favorite food what? are beans, and they just get a can of BD Beans for their pleasure here. Spawn moving on to winner's finals. And. What is that? What a block, my friend. Fawn still got a big mad. I'm confused. <laughs> She's not happy with the way she was playing. She's she, a perfectionist, you know that. She, I know, but sometimes you have to play the way you gotta play. And what, what happened is it worked out for her. You had to play a little bit more carefully. You had to play a lot more reserved than usual. Because if you are over aggressive on someone like Warrior with even half walk, it's like, oh, sh I just died at 60 and, because I was too aggressive. And if we can jump back to that... Uh, down throw can up air uh, replay for a second. The second stock? Yeah. Uh, which one do you want to go? The, the down throw can, uh, it's the second stock, second I believe. Stock. This um, one? Uh, no, the other one. The next one. It's, it's, yeah, this one. So if you watch here, here, she finds this can positioning. She's looking for a down throw can, but the can's one ping too far, right? Since the can is already on the left side of her and drifting this way, Hey, down throw is going to send up, you know you don't have time to hit that can the way you want. So this delayed down throw means, hey. Alright, I do want to point out we're going to be getting to yep. the other set. If so I, if I, if I zoom uh... in, in, right, you see the DI, you say, okay, either I'll hit you with can or I hit you with the up air. Beautiful stuff, beautiful frame trap to lock in that kill. Speaking of locking in though, that's going to be it for me, Mom. As unlocking it. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair